The other day I was here in my studio and I was doing some research for the photography show which comes up in the next couple of days at the NEC in Birmingham. And whilst I was looking through, I was looking on YouTube and I could see lots of people who'd taken their cameras and they'd gone round and they'd filmed the event itself. I couldn't find anything there which was information for people who were attending the event, especially for the first time. So I thought I'd put the short film together of my top 10 tips for going to the photography show in Birmingham. Now, I'm no expert, I'm just one of the people who've been there several times. I've been to many other trade shows down there. I'm just a standard photographer, I'm not a big pro photographer. I like going to these events to see what's new, what gets new, same way as you probably are going. And this is just my opinion. So hopefully they'll be informative. And if you know better than me, and you've got better ideas or better tips and comments, then do leave them in the box below and share them with other people. And if you ask a question, then I'll reply. But yeah, let's have a look. My top 10 tips of the photography show at the NEC. Tip number one, pre-book your tickets. It's quite simple. The photography show has got a really good website. It's just photographyshow.com. And if you go in there, it's very informative and you'll see at the top right, get tickets. And you click on there and up will come the information about how you can book your tickets. Now the advantage is that you can do it all from your home. You can pre-book and you get discounts. Now, obviously, if you're watching this film on your going today or you're going tomorrow, it may be a bit late for that, but it's something worth remembering in the future. But you can go online, book your tickets, you get discounts if you go on uh, multiple days, you get discount if you're over 60, like I am, and what you do is you book, pay for your tickets, and then you just press print on your printer, and you get them, and you run them off, and there you are, you get your tickets make sure you take them with you. Tip number two. It's on the same line as tip number one, but however you're going to travel, whether it's by train, by car, pre-book your tickets for those also. Now, train, of course, you can get uh, cheap tickets if you, if you book well ahead, but with the car parking, you can pre-book tickets and get a discount up to, I think it is midnight, the night before you're actually going to use the car park. Now, a lot of people turn up to the car park for the photography show or any events at the NEC and they rock back on their heels when they see that one day car parking ticket is £16. That's a lot of money. Well, if you pre-book, you don't get it for nothing, but you get it down to £12. So that's a saving of £4. That's a cappuccino. So again, go onto the website, parking at the NEC website. Very simple, tells you there how to book online. You just click. And same thing again, pay your, um, par uh, your parking fee and then press print. And again, out comes your parking tickets, which you take with you to the park. And you don't have to worry about queuing up to pay your parking ticket when you arrive. A lot of people do that. Not only do they queue, but they pay the full amount. Tip number three, do some research beforehand. Now, if you go back to the photography show website, which is here, it's packed full of information. And it's easy to read it here on a PC or something where you, where you can get the full impact of it. And there's plenty of information there on the drop down menu. The photography show isn't just about cameras and kit. They lay on loads of other stuff, demos, talks, good speakers, and um, lots of different uh, workshops and things like that. Some of those events are pre-booked and you have to pay for them, but a lot of them are free. And it's basically first come, first served, put your backside on a seat and you can sit and listen to the talk and it's all included in the price of the ticket. Do make use of them because they're very handy, very informative. And while you're wandering around during the day, it's quite nice to sit down for half an hour and listen to someone talk and take the weight off your feet. Tip number four, do some kit research. By that I mean before you go down to the show, check other websites for information about um, camera kit and camera sales. Even though there are a hundred of exhibitors at the show, not all of the online outlets actually turn up. But what they do is sometimes they offer good deals while the show is on. 
because it saves them the money going to the show so they can offer better deals. The show is really good because you can see all the kit and it's all priced up and most of the time you can buy it there and then. But not all of the show prices are the most competitive. There are some good show offers on, but do your research first. Don't just get sucked into spending because you're at the show. Tip number five, wear the right kit. It's not a fashion show. You're going to go to the show for a whole day and you are going to walk miles. You want to be comfortable. The hall is heated, it's a comfortable environment to be in and you're going to be walking up and down these aisles. So wear some uh, comfortable clothing. You only need to wear an outdoor jacket from the car to the hall itself. Even then you get on a shuttle bus between the car park and, and the hall. But as soon as you get into the hall you'll see cloakrooms. Use those cloakrooms. They're not expensive to use and you can leave your heavy kit like your big outdoor jackets or your umbrellas in these cloakrooms and pick them up at the end of the show when you're going to go back to the car park. Most importantly though, wear comfortable shoes. Shoes that you would like to walk miles in because that's what you'll do. It makes a big difference when you're getting tired and late on in the day. Tip number six, go hands-free. Now in this, I don't mean about your phone. I mean about your bag that you're carrying. Now I carry a rucksack because it's on my back and it's there all the time. The only time I take it off is to uh, put something in it or take something out. You want to go so that you can use your hands at all of these stalls where they lay out kit for you, cameras, lenses, whatever, tripods that you can pick up and touch. If you have to pick up and um, or put down and pick up a bag every time, it's a chore. And at some point you may forget your bag. You'll wander off and you have to come back to the aisle or someone accidentally picks up your bag. When it's on your back or over your shoulder, you don't have to be worrying about it so much. And it leaves you able to use your hands to pick up stuff. Tip number seven, food and drink. Now at the exhibition hall, there are plenty of food and coffee outlets there. But remember, you're in an enclosed environment and it's a bit like a motorway service station. You won't be buying cheap coffee. So what I do is I take a flask of coffee with me, some water and some sandwiches and some snacks, and I carry them around with me. It's cheaper that way. I still do go and buy the odd coffee and a, a nice bit of cake. But remember that there's a lot of people who don't think ahead and they queue. Now you might queue in a coffee, um, a coffee stall for half an hour. That half an hour is time you could be spending wandering around other parts of the, uh, the show, which is what you paid for and that's what you're there for. So think about what you're going to take with you. And there are plenty of places that you can just grab a quiet five minutes, have a quick cup of coffee from your flask and then a, a quick snack and then move on. I find that's the best way it suits me. Tip number eight, this is a pun, focus. Focus on what you're there for. If you're looking for a new bit of camera kit, you know, like a lens or a new camera itself or a tripod or whatever, look at the places that sell that kit. If you're a Canon fan, there is a massive Canon store there and you will go to that, that site. But if you're looking for a tripod, there are loads of different tripod places. You've got to shop around, but look for the tripod stalls. Use the show guide and then, as I said, do your research before and focus on what you're actually there for. You can get sidetracked, that's not a problem at all. But as long as you use the day for what you intended, then you, you've reached the aim. Tip number nine, work methodically. Now, what I do is I basically treat it a bit like a supermarket or even as a, a, a better analogy is Ikea. You know, when you go into Ikea, they've put arrows on the floor and they direct you round the whole store so you see everything. And that's why we all pick up tea lights because they've directed you right past the tea lights. But what I do is I use the same method and I follow a system and I go round each aisle, up each aisle, down the other aisle, up and down, up and down until I've covered the whole floor space. That's what I do on my first walkthrough. I don't stop at any stores. But what I do is I keep an eye out for what looks like interesting stores and I take a photograph of them. On my phone, just keep a photograph. By the time I've done my first walkthrough, I sit down, have a coffee, look through the show guide, 
look through my phone and say, yeah, that's a store I'd like to go back to and I mark it on my show guide or I mark it in my head and I go back to it in, later on in the day. It's also a good way of doing it if you get to a store that you'd love to go to and it's really busy, you can't push your way in or you can't ask the questions that you want. By making the phone, it reminds you, by taking the shot on the phone, it reminds you to go back there again uh, later on in the day. Hopefully then by its quieter. Another thing is, everybody seems to get there for when it opens at 10 o'clock and gets to the holding area and at 10 o'clock, oh, it's like the next Boxing Day or sale. Everyone goes in at the same time. Just hang back a bit. Maybe sit down and chill for half an hour and move your day back a bit so that you don't get in there to half 10, 11 o'clock, but you leave a little bit later because everyone who's gone in at 10 is maybe away by three. You can be in there by 11 and be away by four. All the exhibitors are still there. They're not going anywhere, but you can just go in and it's just less of a push and a shove. When you get to a stand that has caught your interest, do ask questions. That's what the exhibitors are there for. They're there to give you as much information about their product as they can. Whatever question you've got, they've probably got either the answer for it or their colleague has got an answer, but it's there. And of course, you get the hands-on um, feel. You can go on websites and you can see what cameras are like or you can see what photo books are like, but you can't feel the thickness of a paper of a photo book well you can at the photography show. So use it to its full advantage. Tip number 10 is enjoy it and have fun. Don't get weighed down by the fact that you've got to get round every store, you've got to go and see every show you haven't. It's there to have fun. Many people see there, they've got their head down, they're just walking from stall to stall and it's like a bit of a drudge for them. I don't treat it like that. If I see someone I know, I'll chat. If I see someone who's got an interest in stall, I'll go and chat. Get information. It's only once a year. It's only one day out of your year, but enjoy it. Well, that's my top 10 tips for the photography show. I hope you found it useful. If you've got more input and you would like to make a comment or you've got a different opinion, just leave a comment down in the box below. And especially if you've got something to say, oh, I found the best way to do it is, is this, then leave the comment so that other people can read that comment as well. If you like what I do, do click the like button. Even better, subscribe to my channel. I'm not a pro photographer. I do a mixture of all things. I'm an artist first, photographer second. But as you'll see from my channel, I go out walking on the Lakeland Fells, take my camera with me, get some decent shots. And if you're that way inclined, subscribe to my channel. But thanks for watching.